Well, alright guys, so welcome back to Gaming Today. You might have gotten this soundtrack when logging into Fortnite today, maybe in the last couple of hours or so. Wow, this is a cool soundtrack. If you guys don't remember how you got this or why you got this, it's from Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King Jr. to be specific. But guys, we gotta talk about something. They did a whole creative map, talked about the I Have a Dream speech, the most important speech that Martin Luther King Jr. ever did. And this took place in Washington DC in 1963. Anyways guys, I have a whole video covering everything about the I Have a Dream speech and telling you guys everything you need to know about Martin Luther King Jr. But before we get into it, listen to this soundtrack. As she always said to me, you must never feel that you are less than anybody else. You must always feel that you are somebody, and you must feel that you are as good as anybody else. And of course, this came up with me in spite of the fact that uh, I still confronted the system of segregation every day. Martin Luther King Jr. was a very important person, as we all know. He helped change the United States as well as the entire world's point of view on black and racism, primarily dealing with segregation, and that's basically what all this is about. I Have a Dream speech is his most important speech, and it's now in the game of Fortnite, thanks to Time Magazine as well as Fortnite Epic Games. They both chipped in money to actually get exclusive footage of basically the I Have a Dream speech, which even certain documentaries could not get their hands on. So this is kind of cool and weird at the same time. But you might ask, why is this in the game of Fortnite? Especially now, is it's not Black History Month. Black History Month takes place between February 1st through March 1st, in case you were wondering. Well, let's talk about the speech. The speech took place on August 28th in 1963. It is now August 26th, but it's also 2021. So Epic Games and Time Magazine actually got this out there for us, and it's amazing. Now you might be wondering, is it Martin Luther King Day? Nope, that's in January on the 17th. So guys, the whole reason for it is just because it's close to the same date as basically the speech took place. Now guys, if you want to watch this later on and you're thinking, oh, well, it's not featured in Fortnite, I probably can't watch it, go to the creative code right there, the map code, type that into the discovery tab and you will be able to play this at a later date. Another great thing about this is players that do go into this can actually get a free spray, so that's something you might want to do. And the spray just says basically 63, DC 63, because this took place in Washington DC. Let's talk about the I Have a Dream speech for a second. It dealt with basically segregation and black freedom and basically the rights of black people. And it was mo mostly talking about the United States, however it reached all around the world. As you guys know, the United States has a lot of world power. You know, the idealism from the United States kind of carries to the rest of the world. The I Have a Dream speech took place on the Lincoln Memorial in Washington DC, which I have been there many times actually, but it's a very great place to see. And obviously during this time in 1963 there was a lot of things going on. You had a lot of black protests and power struggles essentially going on and people were not being treated fairly or right for that matter, it was a very different time back then. And this was a huge speech that really helped change a lot of things, so it's very important. Now guys, once you come into the game, you're going to be greeted with a big TV screen and that's where you're going to be watching the speech from. However, there's a whole bunch of other stuff to do, including a maze, there's an exhibit to talk about the Freedom Riders and to give you a quiz and stuff, there's a whole bunch of stuff. It's like going to school, I understand that. But it's also a complete remake of the Washington DC Memorial District, which if you live in Washington DC or have ever been there, it looks very close. I have to admit, they did a great job on it. In what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation will not pass until that is an invigorating moment. 1963 is not an end, but a beginning. We will be able to speed up that day when all the thought children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, 